Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Array Method 16 for part 5 of Module 1. I'm going to write a function called getLongestWord of mixed elements. Uh, and for some reason, the other one is called getLargestNumber among mixed elements. I'm not sure why this is of mixed elements and the, all the rest of them are among. One of those mysteries, I suppose. Anyway, if you're watching Array Methods 15, you'll notice that we're going to follow the exact same methodology that we did there. And the methodology is this. First, we're going to filter the mixed elements into an array that are just the elements that we're looking for. We're then going to check to see if that array has any elements in it. If it does, we're going to apply the same method that we did for finding the longest word uh, previously and then the largest element in the next one. So, uh, first thing we're going to want to do is check to see if the array length is zero. If the initial array length is zero, they want us to return an empty string, and that's the end of the problem. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, words array. I think we called it strings in the previous one, but words will work as well. We're then going to iterate over the uh, length of the input array. Oh boy, can't type today. Anyway, uh, we're going to check to see if the current element is the correct type. In this case, the type of we're looking for is going to be a string. Some days you just don't have it in terms of typing, but that's okay. Uh, if type of array at i, meaning if the current element is a string, we want to push it to the words array. Now at this point we have our second edge case and we're going to copy and paste this one from here. I would suggest that you don't copy and paste. The more times you write out other statements the better. But for our purposes the videos I think get kind of boring if you just watch the same thing typed over and over again. So it's going to provide a balance hopefully. So if the length of the words array is zero then we know that the original array didn't contain any words because we're filling the words array only when we come across words that are of, of elements that are of type string. So once we get there, if words.length is equal to zero, then we want to return an empty string as well. Next, we're going to follow the method we've been up to the whole time. So we'll say longest. And by longest, I mean, I mean, by the entire time, I mean, we've done a lot of these problems where you find longest or the shortest or the smallest inside of an object, inside of an array, you know, just three of them. So, same idea for, the, for all of them, pretty much. We're going to set longest to be whatever the first element or the zeroth element of the words array is. We're going to iterate over the rest of the words array. And if we ever come across a word whose length is greater than that of our current longest length, we are going to reassign our longest to be equal to whatever the current uh, word that we're iterating over is. And then finally, we want to return longest. So check to see if the initial array is empty, create a words array, iterate over the input array and add all of the strings to the words array, check the words array length, assign longest to be the first element in the words array, iterate over the rest of them. If we ever have a current uh, word that's longer than our longest word, then we replace or reassign longest to be whatever the current element of the words array is. And then finally, we're going to return longest. Okay, so since this is pretty much, if you're watching these in order, the fourth time we've done almost the exact same thing, we're going to do a fair amount of copying and pasting. So let's copy all of the... Shoot, why don't we just copy the whole thing? So I would not suggest that you do this. I would write it out individually. But since you're here for the solutions, we're just going to do, uh, we're going to copy and paste in. And we might discover why this is a bad idea, but we might also not. So words is going to need to be nums. And put it as actual nums. We don't want the type of to be string. We want the type of to be number. Anywhere we have words, we're going to need to replace it with nums. We don't care about the length since these are numbers, so it's just going to be if num is greater than longest, and <clears throat> to be sure, longest doesn't really cover it at this point. We need it to be called largest, so we'll replace longest with largest. Here's another let's change from nums to uh, from words to nums and largest. Now let's go to the top and make sure that this is correct. <clears throat> so if the original array is 
empty, meaning the length is zero, we're gonna return an empty string. Ah, there we go, it should not return an empty string, it's gonna return zero. So let's replace this with zero. Then we call nums, make that into an array, we iterate over the input array, if any of them are type number, then we push them to our nums array. Uh, if the nums array doesn't have anything in it, meaning there are no numbers in the original array, then we're gonna return zero. We assign largest to be the first element in nums, we iterate over the rest of nums. If the current number is greater than the largest number, then we reassign largest to be the current number, and then finally we return largest. Excellent work, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.